Thanks, Lauren. A developing story, Fresno police are investigating the, their 60th homicide of the year. After a man was shot and killed just hours ago in southeast Fresno, in the area of Jackson and Turner, that's near Belmont and Maple. CBS 47's Juanita Adame is live at Fresno Police Headquarters with more. Juanita. Well, Catherine, right now police have very little to go on. They arrived in a neighborhood, found a man fighting for his life. They were on scene late this evening searching for answers. The victim was found laying on the street in this southeast Fresno neighborhood, just one block away from Leavenworth Elementary School. Unattended by himself, officers uh, came, they found him, he appeared to have at least one gunshot wound to his upper torso. They performed life-saving measures uh, until EMS arrived. An unidentified man suffering from a single gunshot wound. EMS arrived shortly thereafter, continued life-saving measures. He transported him to the hospital where he's pronounced deceased a short time later. Fresno Police Lieutenant Robert Dewey said they know little about who he is. Right now, we still do not have the victim identified. Uh, he's a Hispanic male adult in his 30s, uh, but that's really all the identification we have on him. We're still trying to get him identified. The call came in at around 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, the original call for service came out on Belmont, and once officers arrived, they realized that it was actually a little bit further north. Witnesses reported hearing four to five shots. Right now, we don't have any um, concrete suspect information. Uh, we do know that it does not appear to be a drive-by. But no one in the area heard or saw anything else. But we're still looking for others that may have seen something to give us some more evidence as far as a suspect. Police shut the area down and stayed on scene for several hours following the shooting. And again, like you mentioned, Catherine, this is the 60th homicide for the city of Fresno. Anyone with information on this case is asked to call the Fresno Police Department. Live here in downtown Fresno, Juanita Adamas, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.